my perfume collection obsession. This is her. The girls that get it, get it, okay? These scent details are for your man and your man only. This perfume is so underrated, just now. What's up, you guys? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, we are going to be getting into some perfumes that I recently bought. I actually blind bought all of these, and I have 10 to show you guys. Can we get into this makeup though? Is it giving poison ivy? Cause that's what I was going for, okay? I just got my hair done into these like ginger braids and I just felt the poison ivy fantasy. I did a poison ivy Halloween look like a year ago, I think or two. And I just felt like I needed to bring her back. So we're giving poison ivy today. I can't believe I blind bought 10 perfumes. You guys know me. I go through phases where I just start collecting obsessively. And my perfume phase was definitely real. I did this like over the course of like literally two weeks. It was, I don't want to talk about it. But it all started with her right here. I actually don't have the packaging for this because I initially didn't think I was going to buy this many perfumes. But once I realized I was collecting, I started keeping all the packaging. But I will put every single perfume on the screen. I'll also tell you guys the notes because I'm not the best at explaining fragrances. Honestly, I'm not a fragrance head. I've actually been getting into fragrance YouTube a ton ever since I did this and a lot of these are actually off the recommendation of some youtubers but I am not the person that's like this smells like a musky woody bergamot like I don't know anything I'm just telling you guys what I smell from my like amateur nose perspective okay but I'm pretty sure this is the Al Harim perfume this is the one that went viral on TikTok this summer I believe I'm not on TikTok you guys know I do have a TikTok account but I'm not on there all the time I actually found this from YouTube it's giving fruity but like in the best way it's like sophisticated fruity vibes there are a lot of fakes out there so definitely make sure to authenticate this is a perfect summer scent I do know we're going into fall I bought this a couple of weeks ago so I did get a chance to wear it a couple of times and the good thing about this is that it's an oil so it's not like I'm gonna be spraying it a ton so this is probably gonna last me an entire lifetime to be honest I bought this at the tail end of summer so I'm gonna have to give you guys a better update next summer but this is definitely one that I will be wearing the oil meshes in with your skin and it stays on for a pretty decent amount of time I do know that some people were saying that like this is like impossible to get off they're taking a shower they're coming back and they're still on I didn't have that experience it definitely came off in the shower for me and it definitely didn't last like all day and then next day it probably lasted a decent amount of time I would say about six hours from my remembrance but I only wore it twice so I'll be able to give you guys a better opinion next summer when I'm wearing it but I'm kind of over the summer sense for now but this was what started my perfume collection obsession over the past two weeks so and after I bought that bottle I started seeing on Amazon that people like the silver one better they were comparing the two so of course I had to get me the silver one I like the gold one better. This one is giving very flower, very much floral. Yeah, it's it's extreme florals. And I'm not a floral type of hoe. I really love this one because it's giving like juicy fruit. This one is giving like I went in the garden and smelled a rose. Literally. Like I don't think it's bad though. It's definitely not my favorite out of the 10 that I bought, but it's definitely an oil that I would consider wearing on like just a light day. If you're into florals, you will love this perfume. I prefer this one over this one. And I definitely will get some use out of this. It just won't be as often as this one. Going down the line of Arabian perfumes because guys, I have four more. I have four more Arabian perfumes to tell you about. Three of these Arabian perfumes I was influenced to purchase by a YouTuber. Her name is Ksenia. I discovered her on YouTube recently when going down this fragrance rabbit hole. So I actually love all of her recommendations. She has a lot of similar scents to me. She has a similar taste to me when it comes to fragrance. So I am a new stan. I trust her opinion a lot, especially because all of the ones that I purchased from her, I love every single one of them. So the first one, we're going to be talking about Casablanca. This is a 3.4 ounce I believe yes 3.4 ounces you guys can we get into the fact that I put this back in the packaging to be cute for you guys but do you see that like there is a significant dent in this perfume and I'm actually going to buy a backup this is by far the most used out of all 10 perfumes that I have to show you guys recently within the weeks that I've purchased these I have just been coming back to this one this one Oh my god, it smells like a sophisticated apple pie. And I know that's a weird description, but trust me, when you smell it, you'll get it. The girls that get it, get it, okay? This just smells 
so good and the first time I ever wore it I got a compliment immediately I ended up going to my leasing office to ask them a question after spraying this and they both immediately were like oh my god what are you wearing guys run do not walk to Amazon to get this but wait for me because I need to get my back up <laughs> it lasts so long I'm talking so long on the clothes it's a perfect fall vibe and I don't even like apple pie like that, like to ingest. I don't like eating apple pie. I don't like baked apples. It's just not my thing. But the smell, the smell, you guys, I'm obsessed. And I don't even feel guilty about it. And I'm pretty sure this was like 40 bucks on Amazon. Honestly, for a 3.4 ounce, you cannot go wrong. For something with that type of longevity for $40, please. Please. The next one that Cassini recommended is the one that I know for sure went viral on TikTok because even I saw it and that's that's saying something. This is the Yara. I think this is the original Yara. I know since coming out with this and it being a success, they did have multiple versions of this. And I do have my eye on the orange bottle because I heard it's like a coconutty mango situation and I really want that for summer next year. But for right now, this one I would consider sort of a summer spring scent i will still kind of wear this up until it gets really cold where i am because it's not quite there with the weather it's still like 70 but once it hits 60 and 50 i'm gonna have to let her go the bottle is so so cute i love it everyone on tiktok was saying that this smells like strawberries and cream i don't know if i would say that it definitely does when it dries down have a little bit of a strawberry note for me personally with my skin off rip like when you smell this it does not smell like strawberries and cream it reminded me a whole lot of this bad boy this I have like 10 million bottles of this but this is the Brazilian crush the original bum bum smell when I first smelled this perfume I definitely got this vibe and it's so funny because that's exactly what Ksenia said and I was like strawberries and cream does not smell like that but when I first smelled it it definitely gave me the vibe of the Brazilian crush but as it dried down on the skin, I did get that little bit of strawberry. I'm not a huge fan of like extreme authentic gourmands. I'm talking like something that smells like a literal strawberry straight out the patch. I'm talking about something that smells like a cake straight out the oven. I don't know if I want to literally smell like a cookie or a cake or a strawberry or like freshly picked apples. Those types of scents I kind of steer away from. But the gourmands that have like a hint of perfume or like a hint of like you know that's kind of subtle kind of not like miss casablanca definitely i would consider her like my type of gourmand it's definitely giving apple pie vibes but it's not like straight out the oven smelling apple pie i don't know if that makes any sense but do you get what i'm saying miss yara definitely gives vibes of brazilian crush it's giving like creamy version of that with a little bit of strawberry like a hint, just a hint. Christina also recommended this right here. This is Choco Musk, again, with my type of gourmands. This is her, okay? I have seen a couple people saying that this is too strong smelling. I would have to disagree. Maybe I just become nose blind to it and other people can smell it, but I actually have not worn this out in public, so I'll have a better opinion of it when I wear it in public. I've actually just been wearing this asleep because every time I bought a new perfume, I just started testing it out, and if I didn't have anywhere to go when I received the perfume, I just wore it to bed. So that's what I've been doing with Choco Musk. Also, I think this is like the perfect fall winter scent, and it's not quite at the temperature that I want it to be to like justify wearing this outside for me. So this one, honestly, I know the name is Choco Musk, but I get straight vanilla vibes. Like there is chocolate in here, but it's giving like Swiss Miss cocoa chocolate. It is not extremely artificial, but there is a hint, you know what I'm saying? It's not, this was like 10 bucks. It's not gonna give rich Godiva, you know what I mean? It honestly just smells like chocolate and vanilla. I don't know what notes exactly are in here, but I'm telling you right now, when you smell it, it's chocolate and vanilla. That's it. We're on to the last Arabian perfume, and you guys, this is the one that I kind of would give away. I would kind of return it. And I feel bad saying it, but this was one that I saw that like everybody was dying over. Latafa on some gold. You guys, this 
is supposedly a dupe which I didn't even know from the jump that this was a dupe I just thought it was like a highly sought after Arabian perfume apparently this is duping love don't be shy which is apparently one of like Rihanna's signature scents like people were saying she smells like that she buys it and I was not aware of this hype because like I said I just started getting into my perfume era about being obsessed about buying perfumes but apparently before Rihanna came out with her own fragrance people were saying that she smelled like love don't be shy I've actually never smelled love don't be shy but everyone was saying it smells like this and you guys first of all the packaging is so beautiful do you see it comes with like its own little showcase it's so pretty but you guys this does not smell the best to me i think it's because it's a little bit too mature for me i just like smelling sweet and good and edible and this does not give me that this gives me like and every time I smell it, it just gives me night. Like the only word I could think of is night. Like the only time I would wear this is if I was going outside at night. At night. I cannot wear this during the day. This is way too heavy for me to wear during the day. People online were saying this smells like orange candy. Like I do get the orange, but it's just so mature and strong and not like old lady mature but like just night <laughs> like i can't think of another word like literally night like i don't know eventually i will grow into this perfume it might be when i'm like 26 27 28 or even now i could see myself wearing this but i'm telling you right now this is a full-size bottle i'm never gonna get through this this is giving like once every year type of vibe i'm gonna put the notes up here just to show you guys if you are a perfume head like if you know more than me you know what i mean like this is just what my amateur nose is getting it's just very strong i heard somebody say it smells powdery um i don't really get the powder i just get strong night <laughs> orange vibes so those are all of my arabian perfumes i love but definitely my favorite is miss casablanca and i'm going to spray her before i leave the house today just now so i have four more perfumes to show you guys the first one i'm reaching over here you guys i did not see a lot of people talking about this on youtube but i did see a couple and they influenced me to purchase this this is the clean reserve brand i've never bought anything from the clean reserve brand this perfume is so underrated this is from sephora this is my most expensive perfume that i bought in this haul it was like a hundred something dollars but you guys it's a full size 3.4 is it yes 3.4 ounces like i said i'm new to this perfume side of youtube i don't know what necessarily a skin scent means but if i had to guess it is this one okay this just smells like you naturally smell good and it lasts all day when i say all day like into the night going to sleep it's not like an extremely strong like i would consider casablanca a little bit more strong than this clean scent but they both last if you get what i'm saying this just Ugh, like every time I smell it, I just have to make a noise like it just smells so good And I just told you guys that I don't really mess with the florals from this one, but this is a doable floral I don't know how to describe it. The family on here is described as floral musk You just need to go to Sephora and smell it and I bet when you go to Sephora There's not gonna be any more liquid in here because every time I go to my Sephora the tester is empty and that's for a good reason Okay, even though it's the most expensive I will not ever not hype it up because it just deserves the hype it needs the hype i have worn this multiple times this is a floral that i would continue to wear within the fall and winter during the daytime of course i just love it i could see myself wearing this on like a first date it's not too abrasive i just mm, it's so good if anyone has not tried this please please run don't walk to sephora please the next perfume you guys ah! okay let me let me geek out real quick i have never owned any Britney Spears perfumes when she came out with this I was a literal child 2006 2008 something like that this is her original fantasy I don't know what came over me but I have been eyeing this I don't know what like sudden urge I had to own this Britney Spears perfume and I do know that she literally has like 5,000 versions of this fragrance but I really just wanted the original ah! You guys, I'm so excited. Obviously, this isn't in production anymore, but they're sold so many different places. They're probably at discount stores. I got this one off of Amazon. I know that like everyone and their mother knows what this smells like, but this is like a special moment for me, okay? I never owned it and I always wanted it and it just looks so cute. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that I have it. And let me just say, I've worn it like once or twice. I wore it to work. This lasting power, I don't know if it's because the juice has been sitting 
and like it's just gotten richer or if it's just a characteristic of this perfume but let me tell you this lasts so long and it's not one of those ones where you become nose blind no you will smell it and everyone around you will smell it it smells so good it's giving like mature in the best way possible edible delectable like sweet everything that i love it's definitely a little bit more on the mature side like it's not giving pink sugar you know what i mean now if you guys saw my vlog where i did the amazon haul i said in the vlog i was showing something from pink victoria's secret and they were body sprays and i said that i only wear body sprays really when i don't want to use like you know like my a hundred dollar perfume if i'm going on a date but i don't want to do too much i'll put on a body spray but there is one specific perfume that is date proof it's literally my go-to date scent like if i'm going on a first date with somebody if i'm going on a date with my boyfriend i don't have a boyfriend right now but if i did i would be going with this perfume i have used it so many times and that makes me sound like i'm just like love spelling spraying everywhere you guys calm down <laughs> i will tell you every time i wear it it gets their attention i've had a man literally become jealous because he thought that somebody else bought it for me i've had a man i went on a first date recently in june and when i was driving home he had asked me what was i wearing because i smelled really good you guys this perfume has proven its significance to me in my collection i feel like this is going to be so unexpected but you guys the scent is Thank You Next by Miss Ariana Grande. Now, I know Miss Ariana Grande has been in the press, but one thing she can do is make a perfume, babes, okay? I actually already have it in my collection. This is a backup. That's how for real I am about this. I'm actually not even, like, done with my other bottle. I'm pretty sure I'm halfway through. Let me go get it. Okay, I definitely lied. I'm almost finished with it. I didn't realize how much I used it, so this is how much I have left in my original bottle. This is the goat okay this will get every man asking you what you are wearing and do not tell them because the last thing you want is for them to try to replicate that scent on the next girl they go on a date with if you guys don't work out and you do not need to be giving that away these scent details are for exclusivity you're a man and you're a man only if he's not your man yet do not give it away babe do not tell him what you're wearing everyone that asks me i go incognito mode unless they are my man okay and they nobody has gotten the sauce yet let me just say that nobody knows so i'm putting y'all on if you guys do not have thank you next this is my re-up i haven't been on any dates yet so you guys will see when this goes down it's almost like exclusively my date set at this point because i just cherish it so much i do wear it on the daily occasionally but ever since i bought all these perfumes it's kind of been taking the back burner while i try out these new scents but she is an oldie but goodie she will never leave me okay i love her i actually saw randomly i don't remember who it was i saw somebody talking about the fragrance and they said that it smells like pickles you guys i do not get a pickle scent at all <laughs> where i do not know where that's coming from um but this just smells so so sweet so so good they will not want to let go of you they will be putting their hands all over you girl you need to pick this up i'm telling you what i will say is though if you're picking up a pickle scent don't pick it up babe if you feel like you're gonna smell like pickles don't get it but what i will say is definitely test it out with your body chemistry this just i guess works really well with my body chemistry this is one of my favorite perfumes by by Miss Grande. She will get everybody asking and guessing and questioning and wanting more. Miss, thank you next. She's everything. And you know I had to get the re up. And for the last perfume in this haul, you guys, is Miss Moschino. Moschino? Moschino? I've never owned anything from this brand. And I've always wanted something because it just always just gave me bougie vibes. And I was at work one day and one of my coworkers smelled really good. And I was like, girl, what are you wearing? She told me Moschino. I said, which one? She gave me the picture. I went on Amazon. I bought it. And here it is, okay? It is the gold bottle. It's like the little Windex wiper. Unfortunately, it doesn't spray like this. That will be everything if it did. But this is the 3.4 ounce. You guys, this is discontinued. And I did not know that until I went on Amazon amazon and realized that it was so this is only like 40 dollars again it's another like florally scent which i literally just said i don't like but they have to be mixed with something i'm coming to the conclusion like this one it's floral musk this one it's like floral but spicy i don't know how to explain it it's not too spicy to where this could be a day into night scent it just smells so so good i love it i don't even know how to describe it i'm gonna put the notes up because it's that 
unique of a smell to me. If I smell this on anybody, now that I have it and now that I know what it smells like, I'll be able to point it out like that. I definitely want to explore more Moschino scents because I do know some of them are discontinued and they do sell them on Amazon. So I'm definitely still in my perfume buying era. I definitely want to get a couple more Moschino perfumes. But that is it for this video, you guys. Those are all 10 perfumes that I literally blind bought with the exception of Thank You Next. I love them, I like one, and I kind of am on the fence about Miss Ensemble Gold, but Honestly, for a blind buy haul, I would consider this a success. This is my first time ever going this hard with fragrance. I'm in love. I'm so glad I went to the side of fragrance YouTube because now I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away from them. Smelling good is like the most top rated compliment ever. Definitely check out the scents that I was talking about in this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.